Right, so we are here on Mansinam Island. Mansinam Island is the place where the gospel first arrived when Otto and Geisler, who were from uh, Netherlands and from uh, Germany, arrived on this island to preach the gospel um, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And right here on Mansinam Island, you can see the statue of uh, Otto and Geisler. This is the monument that was set up in their honor um, to remember that 164 years ago, this is 1855, February of 1855, these brethren left all the way from Europe and traveled and came to this island uh, to preach the gospel. And when they came, imagine what they met here 165 years ago, 164 years ago, natives that we are raw, that we are ready to kill them, and they almost killed them, but God spared their lives. And they labored in this place for all of this time. And over a lot of years, they were able to get one papu and saved. And then other people began to get saved. They were praying. My friend Dr. Tandy tells me that they were praying, say, Lord, please let us have at least one papu and in heaven. Because your word said every tribe and every tongue must be represented in heaven. And that brings me to the matter of reaching those who have never heard the gospel. You see, there are lots of people, uh, by the way, you see the dress I'm wearing, we have just baptized someone right here in the water, someone who gave her life to Christ, and it was such a wonderful uh, uh, experience. But um, the, the, the point I'm, I want to make in this Truth in Brief is that there are people who have never heard the gospel. You see, as we sit in our cities and celebrate in our churches, about two billion people have not heard the name of Jesus. So can you say that? The answer is yes. You can do your own research. And the priority at this time is that these people who have never heard the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, we need to take deliberate efforts to reach them with the gospel. You see, we can continue preaching the gospel among those who have heard the gospel. You see, they have, they, they have received the bread of life. Now they want butter and they want jam. And they want some cheese on the bread of life that they have received. They have heard about the first coming of Jesus. And now they are arguing about the second coming of Jesus. Will Jesus come before the tribulation or within the tribulation or after the tribulation? But some people have never heard that Jesus came the first time. They've never heard. They have never tasted of the bread of life. I want to challenge you, born again child of God, pastor, servant of God. What are you doing? What is your church doing? To make sure to support the effort to get the gospel to those who have never heard. Interestingly, many of the people that are doing that are non-church ministries. They, they, are, they, don't, they, are, they don't have congregations. Thank God for churches that are missional, taking the gospel out to those who have never heard. But the Bible says that in heaven, people from every tribe and every tongue will be represented around the throne of God. That means we have to reach them. We still have more than 6,000 unreached people groups in Asia especially. The number one unreached region in the world is Asia. India is top of the list. Then you have China, you have Japan, you have, you know, Southeast Asia, Indonesia. I mean, in Papua here alone, you have more than 270, 275 tribes, languages that are here to hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two is Africa. 28%, almost 30% of the people in Africa have never heard the name of Jesus for the first time. You say with all the technology, the answer is yes. The, if we are going to reach them, we must focus our prayer on those who have never heard. We must focus our going on those who have never heard. And we can go in different ways. We can plant churches, we can go as professionals, we can pray, we can give to support those who are doing this. But my prayer is that the example of Otto and Geisler, who left thousands and thousands of miles all the way from Europe to travel to a village, an island in Southeast Asia 164 years ago. My prayer is that the example will be a challenge to our hearts to do everything we can so those who have not heard the gospel can have opportunity to be saved. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray first of all. Father, we thank you for our sister who has renounced the devil and received Jesus and trusted in Christ as our Savior. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you that she is saved 
Terima kasih karena dia telah diselamatkan. Her sins are washed away. Dosanya telah diampuni. By the blood of Jesus. Oleh darah Yesus. And now, Lord, according to your command. Dan Tuhan sekarang sesuai dengan perintahmu. We will baptize her in the name of the Father. Kami akan membaptiskan dia dalam nama Bapa. And of the Son. Dan dalam nama Anak. And of the Holy Spirit. Dan dalam nama Roh Kudus. And we ask that you will preserve her. Dan kami minta Engkau melindungi dia. Help her to run her race. Engkau tolong dia untuk mengikuti perlombaannya to finish well untuk mengakhiri perlombaan dengan baik to serve you untuk melayani engkau to draw other people to you untuk membawa banyak jiwa kepadamu in Jesus name dalam nama Yesus and as we baptize her now dan waktu kami membaptis dia we decree that all things have passed away kami mengatakan bahwa segala sesuatu yang lama sudah berlalu and all things have become new dan segala sesuatu telah menjadi baru every satanic bondage segala ikatan dari setan we break in the name of Jesus kami hancurkan dalam nama Yesus over her life atas hidupnya over her family atas keluarganya in Jesus name dalam nama Yesus and we speak salvation to our family dan kami memberitakan memperkatakan keselamatan bagi keluarganya in Jesus name dalam nama Yesus thank you heavenly father terima kasih bapa di surga in Jesus name dalam nama Yesus you will use her Pakailah dia to make other disciples untuk membawa banyak orang jadi muridmu for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ untuk melayani Yesus Kristus in Jesus name dalam nama Yesus amen 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 right now i think she needs to close her door yeah, just one of our hands yeah, so can hold it. and then okay so that we baptize her so we we'll put her in the water she you have explained yeah. to her yeah. okay, okay so she can close, close her door yeah. she close her doors and her mouth So if we baptize you in the name of the Father Kami and of the Son dalam nama and Bapa, of the Holy Spirit anak roh kudus. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Whoa, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.